video, we are going to be sharing tips and techniques for essential challenge performance. We have posted two different versions of this video on YouTube. The first one is an uninterrupted performance. You may want to watch that first. For this video, we're going to pause it from time to time to talk about what we're doing and why. We will link the challenge summary in the description below. As a team, we put more than 800 hours into this solution. We really love DI, and so we spend a lot of time obsessing over every little detail. Teams can spend a lot less time and also make really cool solutions. Some of the tips we're going to share are the fundamentals we learned in our first year, and some of them are more advanced techniques that we learned as we got more experience. We hope you find this helpful! It is important to check out the room before your performance time to see how it is set up. For example, is the launch area on the left or right side of the stage and how big is it? This might change the order you bring your props into the launch area. You can see that each of us are standing next to a certain prop in the launch area. When we practice our performance, we choose who is bringing in what prop and we do it the same way each time. Many teams like to have a fun catchphrase to say that they are ready. Let's take a gamble! This is the first impression, so make sure to sound loud and excited. We like to start our performance as soon as time begins to maximize our eight minutes. Also, we try to use the whole stage we're given, whether it's for prop placement or character movement. Welcome to the most far out casino of the 1960s. My name is, well, you can just call me fun. I'm your host. My job is to lure you and keep you here for a very long time. The mystery disease story you are about to see progresses over 30 years, but you will see it in eight minutes or less. It is important to speak loudly so even the people in the back of the room can hear you well. I <laughs> mostly have good intentions, but the longer you stay, the more powerful I become until I transform from fun into, well, you'll find out. Try to introduce each character as soon as they come on stage for the first time. What's your name and do you want to come to my casino? I'm Jacqueline, but you can call me Jack. Jackpot! And no, I am not a gambler! In addition, we like to put the characters' names on their costume to make it super clear. Well, how about your friend? I have no friends, but I've got myself, and I love myself so much that I walk around with another version of me! The giant face prop was a big scoring element, so we tried to interact with it as much as possible and integrate it into the story. Huh? Well, I could be your friend. <laughs> Winning can be your friend. This is a casino for winners. The casino set is one of our team choice elements. It transforms 20 times throughout the performance and gradually changes from colorful to black and white. Well, I guess I could try it just for fun. Well, let me roll on the red carpet just for fun and introduce you to the game of slots. Try to act out your lines as much as possible. For example, watch the hand motions of the slot machine character as she introduces herself. I'm the slot machine. I shake your hand, but I only have one arm, and I'm exhausted from paying winners all day. Try it. You might get real lucky. You might hear cheering from other rooms. Don't let that throw you off. Talk even louder if necessary. I have to think about it. Part of me is risky. We should take a gamble, while the other part of me is cautious. Don't do this thing bad might happen. If you have unusual characters in your skit, it might be helpful to spend a little extra time on the introduction to make sure the audience gets it. Wait, so these are also versions of you? Yes, I have two points of view, or perspective, about gambling. <laughs> I'm seeing mirror image. Double vision, I haven't served you any drinks yet. <laughs> Listen to my loud pan, pan, I'm irresistible. Take my arm, take a spin, you never know what you might win. The second team choice element is our slot machine. It has a combination of sound effects, blinking lights, and mechanical motion. Slot machines in the 1960s live with three percent chance of winning. We are sure to lose. That is my point of view. Well, my perspective is that we need to gamble. It is good to assess your staging to make sure your characters and props can be seen at all times. Character staging can be more than just left to right. For example, notice in this scene how we also arrange characters from front to back and at different heights. Winning big is fun! Winning the jackpot should us sound out of sight. I'll only play for a little while, then split. This is the first of three songs in our performance. The songs were not specifically scored, but they're fun to do and entertaining for the audience. 
I'm playing slots. Ding, ding, ding. And I'm winning all the time. So good, so good. The songs relate to each of the addiction phases, and the melody is a popular song from that decade. Are you having fun? Yes, everything is colorful. Sometimes being very direct in the script is helpful for the audience. For example, watch how we draw attention to our scored face and brain prop. We also reinforce that this prop is a representation of the main character. Look at my face! Eyebrows up, mouth smiling, it's all because I'm winning! I can't even begin to describe what's going on inside my head! As the dopamine character introduces herself, notice how she is acting with both her voice and her movements. I can! You need me! You love me! And gambling's the way to get me! I'm dopamine, a neurotransmitter that makes you happy! One of the challenge requirements was to integrate medical research. We do this several times in the performance. We also show one of the elements in our technical prop. Winning slots cause the reward systems in your cranium to squirt me to various regions of your brain. This caused a wave of satisfaction that spread across your face. If you want more of me, just keep gambling. I must have a talent for winning. Here comes a set transformation. We use something called a null cipher to make the backdrop change color. Winning. The first stage of my plan. Jack continued to gamble for many more years, making me even more powerful. We use these boxes to help our audience understand that our story has moved to a new decade. Now it's the 1970s, and Jack will experience the second stage. Losing. We are losing 97% of the time. We are not having fun. And it seems like things are less colorful. The slot machine character was scored for dynamic portrayal, so we made every line start with a rhyme. Don't be afraid, for I have a new upgrade. Based on the Skinner's Box Psychology Study, I've been approved to pay out 45% of the time, so people play longer. We transform the slot machine's appearance and function throughout the skit to be relevant to the decade. Here comes the transformation. That means we will win more often! This max bet button looks fun! Just push the button to play. I'm now electromechanical. Yay. And look at my highly attractive lights. The risky and cautious characters perform the entire skit in mirror image. This met one of the scoring elements. Risk perspective, big bets are dangerous. But if we hit the jackpot, Max Bet wins a lot more. Do we have to risk everything? Small bets aren't enough anymore. Bigger bets are needed for me to create the same emotional high. I'm on a roll. I'm going to bet Max. You just won a little, but not as much as we bet. We lost. But we came so close. We need to roll the dice. We will win big next time. Because of the plentiful little wins, I've been showering the brain with dopamine. It's harder now to keep it happy. Give me another try. I need to break even. I play slots to feel alive, feel alive. All my cash, I will revive, will revive. Here's another chance to look at blocking and staging as our face brain prop shows off a technical element. Notice each character's expression and position. We videotaped ourselves many times and assessed our staging to get to this point. Oh, look at our face! Our eyebrows are sinking and our mouth is frowning because we are losing! I haven't paid a big jackpot in a while. Odds of one is coming to make you smile. Psychologists designed the slot machine to be irresistible, making me even more powerful. After many years, the losing stage of my plan was finally complete. Now, it's the 1980s, and Jack will experience the final stage. As we enter the 80s decade, our slot machine becomes branded with a Back to the Future reference. We really love how they wrote the script for that movie. Every line had a purpose. We try to do the same thing in our DI skits. Play three lines to win, so go ahead, take a spin. We're going back to the fortune. And now, invented by the IGT company in 1986, you can play a progressive jackpot. What? Point 21 million bucks? <laughs> notice how Jackpot uses the whole stage in this scene, and then notice the physical action between her and the evil character Addiction. She even pushes her to the floor. I can't stop! I've lost so much! Gambling is the only way I can get it all back! What's wrong with me? In the beginning, you won big. In the middle, you lost a lot. Now, you are in a stage of desperation and hopelessness. These are the three stages of a mystery disease. Your disease. 
It's time to lay the cards down on the table. I started as fun, but I've transformed into an addiction. I made you addicted to gambling. As the perspective characters act in mirror image, we chose hand motions that were significant to the script lines. I am changing my perspective. We need to stop now before this addiction gets too powerful. And I'm afraid of being broke. Let's borrow money and try to break the bank. Stop. Addiction and your longing for dopamine are controlling you. You've hit rock bottom. In this next scene, the focus is on the face brain prop. But notice how the other characters are still acting out what's happening as a result of addiction. We are in debt and the symptoms of addiction are showing on our face. Bloodshot eyes and weight gain. <laughs> the brain is showing symptoms too. The neural pathways connecting the reward system to the prefrontal cortex are weakening. It's all because of addiction! Jack has been diagnosed with compulsive gambling disorder and will never stop playing slots. Gamble some more, it'll solve all of your problems. No! When all the characters do something in unison, it grabs the audience as an important moment of our story. In our skit, this is a turning point for the main character. You are my problem and I'm a problem gambler! At this point, the entire set has finished its transformation to black and white. We'll call attention to it by an obvious line and action. I'm so depressed that it seems like the whole world is colorless. In the last song, we chose a melody from the decade that aligned with this phase of addiction. Addiction. Oh, oh, oh. You're not fun. I've got to win. Off of the dopamine. I love slots, but they made me poor. My new viewpoints I will not ignore. We use this last scene to amplify our research and clearly convey the theme of our story. Problem gambling was declared an impulse control disorder in the 80s and is now defined as an addiction. Gamblers lose $130 billion worldwide in casinos this year. Also, we once again rearranged our staging from left to right, front to back, and at three different levels. In the U.S. alone, 10 million people are addicted to gambling. Drugs and gambling alter many brain circuits in the same way. I am changing my point of view. Gambling isn't fun, it's addicting! In our final lines of our skit, we wanted to lighten the mood, so we used a technique called bookending. This is where the story kind of goes full circle to where it began. Okay, I get it. Gambling is not good, but you know what is good? This smartphone. <laughs> Try it! It isn't addicting at all. It is just for fun. Well, I guess I could try it. Just for fun. Ooh, I never want to put this down. I'm going to be on this all the time. When you finish your skit, it's definitely a time to celebrate. Even if it's just for a few seconds before you talk to the appraisers. We hope this commentary was helpful. We can't wait to see your amazing solutions at the tournament.